my name is Vida Clark and this is actually my first video so I hope you guys enjoy it. A little background about myself first. Um, I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago and I've been in America almost 26 years and have been married for uh, almost 25 and we have three kids. My husband is also from my country and today I'll be making something from my home country which is uh, salt fish or um, bacalao and fried egg and I pre-cut and prepared everything a little beforehand to save time. This is the dough for the fry bake. The ingredients in the fry bake is just um, flour, butter, baking powder, and a little pinch of salt. If you're using salted butter, then you don't need to put any salt in it. Oh, I'm also, I'm using um, fine flour, fine pastry flour, because that just makes it a little lighter and fluffier after you fry it, and it's not as heavy as uh, um, like if you use the regular flour for dumpling or whatever. And this is the salted cod and I rinsed it off and boiled it for like five minutes because it's pretty salty. There's a lot of salt in it so you would want to wash it off first and then boil it in some water and drain it and then maybe you rinse it one more time. And I have some onions, some cilantro, some habanero pepper, you can leave that out if you don't like spicy, some green onions, and some colored bell peppers. So I'm just going to turn this on, on high heat first so I can warm it up really good. And for frying, I like to use um, grapeseed oil because this takes the heat really good. I'm going to pour some oil in here. Okay, so this is all heated up, so first we're going to put the onions in. And then salt it out for a bit, and then you put the peppers in. And the fish is already cooked. So, it doesn't really need to cook anymore. You just pretty much just uh, blend it in with the peppers and the onions. And I'm just breaking it up with my hands. Make it smaller. I'm just going to pour that in there. We put this cilantro, and again, this does not really need to cook for any length of time because, um, as I said, the fish is already cooked. So you just pretty much just want it to flavor in the onions and the peppers, and you don't really need the onion and stuff to be mushy. You just want it to all just flavor it in. And I'm gonna add a little black pepper. And a little bit of uh, this is a little black pepper and garlic, uh, garlic powder together, and just stir this up. And you don't want it too oily, so just put a little bit of oil, a couple of tablespoons, just the sauteed vegetables, uh, because the fry bake is already going to be you know, in oil and so you don't want it too oily. And look at that. That's beautiful. And that's done pretty much. I'm just gonna turn the stove off and turn this down a little bit. And then we're gonna start making the fry bacon. Gorgeous, get all the colors 
And that's why I like to use different color peppers instead because I like to see, I like colorful food. So I'm just going to take that off the heat and cover it. And now for the fry baker. So what we do is make little balls. Like if you're making, I guess a dumpling size, then you just flatten it with your hands. Just like this. And drop them in the oil. Oh, my son is my cameraman today. <laughs> and just do this. Oops. Just put this over here. And my kids really love this. This is we normally don't eat this for dinner. This is normally a breakfast food in my country, but you can eat it anytime. We eat it anytime. There's no rules. Just whenever you feel for it. It's a good comfort food. It's been raining a lot in the last couple of days, or should I say week. So you see how soft and nice this the dough is. Just what you can also do is you can like, roll a couple. You can just drop the camera. Almost. We can just roll out a couple and then so you have some pre-made at hand. And you just fry it on each side until it's brown and then it should be cooked. It doesn't take that long to cook. And I'm just going to flip this. This is it. This is it. Oh, that's it's gorgeous. Until both sides is brown and then it's done. It cooks really quickly. Nice So you can either put it on the top depending on how thick it is, or you can cut it in the middle. You can serve it like this with the sawfish inside of it like that and just eat it like a little bun like this or you can just put it on the top my kids like it on the top but that's then you have to get a knife and fork and eat it if you put it on the top or eat it at the side like this you can just put it like this Let's see. Let's taste this and see how it turned out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mmm. Yum. It's a little spicy, but as I said, if you don't like spicy, you can always uh, leave the habanero peppers out because that's a really spicy pepper but it's real flavorful so that's that and I am actually gonna make the rest of these in a little bit and I just wanted to introduce myself and introduce you to my first dish and I hope you guys like it and if you have any question you can blog my blog is uh, Vida V-I-D-A Clark, C L A R K E, dot blogspot dot com. So, message me, give me feedback, let me know, you know, if you like it, if I missed anything, if you was hard to follow along or uh, understand, and I would be happy to answer all your questions and just 
I would be doing this uh, maybe twice a week and till I get a hang of it. So, as I said, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye.